Hi everybody, it's Jujubee. And Raven. And welcome to another fabulous episode of RuPaul's Drag Race Fashion Photo Review. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> You look on fire tonight. Girl, this girl is, I'm a flamer. Is your pussy on fire? My pussy's burning. We are going to be tooting and booting the looks from season nine of. <laughs> Raj is gone again. We still have not found where on earth is Raja San Diego, but she is somewhere doing big things and letting the world have it. But we're happy you're here. I'm happy to be here, sister. Sister. <laughs> Thanks for coming, Mary. All right, Judy. Now, I just wanna give a shout out to Taylor from Australia. While we were in Australia not too long ago, she brought me this beautiful wig. Mm -hmm. She styled it. It made it all the way back. And I wanna say thank you. That hairline is everything. Yes, girl, it's growing out of my head because this week's episode is Big Hair on the Runway. Big hair don't care. I do like this on you. This look is, it's, it's a departure for you. This week, they were asked to wear hair. It's all about hair. hair Big hair. hair. Big hair, give, in, give us hair. You want to see hair, hair These everywhere. bitches are giving hair, baby. What about booty hair? Some of them don't have to pad because of that. Mm. Mm. She does a pet. It's just booty hair. <laughs> it's all, actually, it's pubic mound hair that I just kind of shift aside. Hmm. It has she to parts, go somewhere. She parts it and just sticks it all aside. Actually, it's the pubic and the butt hair, and she takes it and does French braids. <laughs> it's like one of these braids up in there. <laughs> yes, on both sides of your head. Lace from booty hair. <laughs> yes, girl. Okay, first up. Valentina. So Valentina was apparently inspired by Diana Ross for this look. I mean, that's it's hair. It's big hair. It's yeah. big, big It's definitely either like a few bags of hair or like multiple wigs. That's just they can't be one piece. They can't be one piece. No. It looks really But beautiful. she is wearing a one piece. She is wearing well, a one jumper. piece. That's she cute. is wearing a one piece. Yes. And I love it. My question is, how, how how does one pack this kind of hair? Maybe she just brought one suit, like one suitcase of just hair. She's probably gonna tell us, I didn't even put anything on. This is my natural hair. Oh, yes, girl. No, I think she uh, looks beautiful. I do too. I think she yeah. looks gorgeous. I actually like the way her arms look in this picture. A two. I give it a motherfucking two, and I love the lily pad. She wore this to the very first drag con, but it had a little jacket. Yes, she did. Look it up. Well, I give Valentina a two, two as well. So two, two, two. 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 Fucking love it, toot. Next up, pheromone. Pheromone. Mine. Pheromone is inspired by Dolly Parton. The whole look is very Dolly Parton. I, you I know, think. I think it looks just like Dolly Parton. I, I actually really like this hair on her. It makes her look really tiny, but she's already really she tiny. She is really tiny. Right. I feel like the hair is the same height as her without the hair, if that makes any sense. Girl, she could wear a bob and still look tiny. <laughs> she's <laughs> tiny. She's wait, tiny. Wait until you're 30, Farah. Catches up to you quickly. Mm -hmm. but I love this look, the entire look. Mm -hmm. The gown, the little boa, the pumps, the jewel. I love the jewelry, that hair. I do love that hair. Yeah, I wonder if it's all teased or if it's like kind of filled in in the middle. But maybe that's, it's just that's like hair. Yeah, maybe it's just like a pile of like hair in the middle and she just pulled it over the top. I don't know. I'm, I, not, I'm not known for hair. I love doing makeup. I don't do hair. But this, I love this look too. Well, I kind of, I mean, I feel i feel shitty that I have to agree with you. Why? Because I would give this a toot as well. But why do you feel shitty about that? Because I, I mean, I have to boot somebody, right? You don't have to. Well. Only when they deserve it. Next up, Trinity the Tuck Taylor. And she, it doesn't say she's inspired by anyone. She just said, I'm doing this, I created this, this look <laughs> is out of my own imagination. She's like, this is inspired by myself. Yes. Because if you can't inspire yourself, how, how in the, the hell, hell you gonna inspire, inspire somebody, somebody else? else? Can I get an amen? So she's wearing pants. That kind are, of. They're, they're, they're like chaps, but they have a train that go, connects to her hands. I kind of wish it was just a dress. I'll be really honest. Okay. But I think she's, you know, her focus is her tuck, I guess. She's letting everyone see the extremities she goes to to create 
a vagina. <laughs> That's like everything is very, it's very that, right? Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. This yeah. Is, now, now it's this week it's framed. This week the vagina is framed. The, the vagina is framed, but you know, this hair is beautiful. It's huge. It's lioness. It's extravagant. Um, it makes her look like a, a Bratz doll. Oh, and that's a good thing to look like. Mm -hmm. I think. I'm inspired by Bratz. <laughs> <laughs> I'm inspired by Bratz. I'm so hungry. Bratwurst. She's from the South, and a lot of the queens in the South, they, they get the ponytails. Yes, yes, yes. And then they sew them together. So this could be ponytails. This could it, be a bunch of, because ponytails have more hair on them. Ponytails. And it, it, it falls better, too. Yeah. I wonder how heavy this wig is. Bitch, I'm guessing it weighs as much as pheromone. So like 17 pounds. Maybe 18. Two. I give it a two. I'll give it a two, too. Good. That's nice of you. <laughs> Just on that tuck alone. Two. Mmm, next up, Sasha Velour. I love Sasha Velour. I think she's very intriguing. I hear a button there. But. <laughs> <laughs> Butt hairs. For this challenge, I, I really didn't care for this, for, for big hair. You know, maybe I, maybe I just wanted more hair. Well, I mean, she's definitely got hair on. She's yeah, got it on she the does. jacket, and she's got a mohawk. She does, but I, I, have, I have seen this done before. I can't really talk shit about her because of this, but I'm kind of forced to because I have to. If I were to toot or boot this, which I will, I'm gonna have to boot this, and I'm so sorry. I boot it because I wish there was more hair. If she filled her head with a whole bunch of these spikes, that would have been really cool. Yeah, if there were some coming out the sides, I get it, yeah. I, I mean, I, I, the look, again, it's a, it's a great drag go-to, especially now everyone's doing the whole like bandage-y, bondage-y. It cuts her off really weird though, to me. And how do you feel about those boots, Raven? Well, you know, I don't care for them. <laughs> it's the harness thing with the, you know, it's yeah. like, so, oh, like I'm punk rock. But it, it. it is a realized complete look. We have it to give it. It is, but we are looking at the challenge at hand and mm -hmm. it is big hair. So I think that, like you said, there should have been more. 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 Yeah. So a boot. Yeah. I give it a boot. I give it a boot as well. Big hair. She Not didn't as care. well. You gave it first. I'm just agreeing with you. So okay. she didn't like you first. Uh, that's not I love you. Next up, uh, peppermint. Peppermint is monochromatic from head to toe. Yes, peppermint, one of my favorite shades. Beige. I am usually known as a nightmare in beige. I, uh, yes, quite frightening when I wear beige. This is focused on hair. It's a beautiful gown mm -hmm. and it fits beautifully. I love the shape of her body and it's like literally something that I would think, you know what, I'm gonna wear, like me, I decided I'm just gonna wear a nice, simple black dress with just hair. Yeah. So focus, the focus on the hair. focus is on the hair. Yeah. It's beautiful hair. It's beautiful hair. Yeah. You don't like it. I don't or mind do, it. Do you, uh, do you just want more out of her? Is that what you're, is that what Yes. You're, okay, I think the hair is very beyonce S. And it's not the color pink. Right, which is really refreshing, but there is pink on her lip, which I kind of like, you know, I kind of wish she went darker or just went completely oh, like maybe, nude, okay. you know? Like a deep plum, a purple, or even a red, I think would have made everything pop and the focus would have pulled up here. Two, I give it a two, I'll give it a two. I give it a two, it's a two. I think this is a two, of course. Okay. Yeah. I'm glad we're in agreement. Don't wanna have to get crazy. Toot. Oh, next up. We're probably gonna disagree on this. Nina. Nina. Oh, Nina. Nina. Why do you think we're in a not gonna agree. Well, I feel like you, I, I don't think you would like it, but you know, I know you more than you know yourself, apparently. I like this look on her. Maybe it's because I kind of have a soft spot for Nina, Bonina Brown. <laughs> I like that this look is completely realized. If I just had to focus on the hair, it is quite messy, but it makes sense with this look. I think she could pay a little bit more attention to the shape of her padding as well. It's the corset. And the corset is cutting into the top of the pads and pushing uh -huh. them down. So I think that's what's making them look it's weird. It's too long, right? Yes. Okay. So she needs more probably just a shape. Like a corselet. But maybe this didn't even need a corset at all. I like the messiness of the hair because it mm -hmm. is savage. It's it, She's, you know, coming out ferociously. Mm -hmm. I don't know about the leopard print with the black boots, the black gloves, the black corset. As much as I love all of this, I this is a boot. I give it a boot. I... It's, it's very like... 
a beginner drag, throw on a bodysuit, mm -hmm. throw on a corset, throw on some thigh high boots, and throw on a fucking pair of gloves and go. This like, is literally like my my fourth set outfit. Like, ooh, let me put together something real quick. Everybody's drunk. I'll be okay. But we're not drunk looking at this now, so it's a boot. Okay, I guess I'll give it a boot too. Thank you. Thanks. <laughs> so we don't disagree. <laughs> we agree. Okay, next up, Shea Coulee. You know what this is giving me? This is giving me baps. This is giving me like Banji bitch from like hanging out on the corner. She's, I mean, um, she looks I'm like not... a tramp. The, and there's so many different styles going on. Do you see what I'm saying? I don't like, like the shoes. Like the jazz shoe mm -hmm. with like the fur coat with the bathing suit and then like the Marie Antoinette-ish hair. Like it's just, there. it's like there's a lot from he different oh, references going on. From here to here? <laughs> uh -huh. It's wonderful. I think her makeup is beautiful in this. I left the color of the hair on her. Uh -huh. But I, I, I'm kind of thrown off with the ensemble. And she looks really heavy up here and then with tiny little feet. I love the pieces. Like, I love that jacket. She put on all her best things for this challenge and was like, bloop. And she might have just really just gone with what color looks good with what. I, well, and it, and it does look like she thought, okay, I've got some pink in here, some pink up there. Right. And some gray down here, some gray in here. She could have gotten away with pink thigh highs. And maybe without the jacket. Yeah, maybe. Know, like something like that. Because yeah. it would have it would have been a little bit more of a balance. Um, so I'm going to give it a boot. Sorry. I agree. Not sorry. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> it's a boot and I'm not sorry about it. I'm sorry, Next. Shay. Don't be sorry, girl. This is what happens. <laughs> so every season from here on out, when you queens go and stand in front of the screen screen and you take a photo, remember where it's going. Uh-huh. Remember that. Alexis Michelle from New York City. And she is... Like a land Ursula. This wig reminds me of the hair Aja was wearing for the princess, doesn't it? That yes. orange, like, pancake. The one the one where she's like, oh, you're so gorgeous. You look, you like, look like Linda, Linda Evangelista. Evangelista. Did you stone those tights? You're ah. Oh my gosh, your smile. She loves these fucking nails. And here here's what happens. A lot of queens see like another queen wear something and they think, "Oh fuck, I need to get I need to get those." Mm -hmm. And sometimes they don't look good on you. Right, I right, don't right. like these nails. I do not like them on her. It's I don't. been it's been a trend for a minute. And they need to go away. You know I love contacts. <laughs> I love us just contacts. She walked in with these with that purple hair and it was just like Here's my eyeballs. My eyeballs entered it first. <laughs> Walk into the room, contacts first. Do you see me? With this, I love that. And I love that it's a very dramatic look. And her fucking dress is made of hair. Her dress is made of hair, but I don't I don't like the shape of this on her. The 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 silhouette isn't that great for her. It I mean, I I don't really care for it. Well, I would have probably cut it a little higher in the front and made it longer in the back. Uh huh. I don't like that shoe with this. Yeah, it's a boot. I give it a boot. I don't care for it. I give it a boot too. I don't care for it at all. I just, and this pancake hair. Like if I took this and just smashed it. <laughs> well, doesn't it, it, it looks like something that you just worked out in a show and you sprayed it and then it was still moist from that heavy performance. And it was in the did. suitcase and you pulled you it out it, and you're like. And it said, okay, bitch. Well, but you know what? It's different than just throwing on a big pile of hair. That's true, that's true. I mean, um, art has no boundaries, but it could still be booted. Boot. Boot. Last up, Aja. And she was inspired by the Queen of Hearts, Alexander McQueen of Hearts. I love this. I love everything uh, mm -hmm. about this, top to bottom. That hair. You could tell she went through and shaped it the exact way that she wanted it because her outfit is so structured. There's so many wonderful lines that like this hair was the focus, even though the outfit and the and the whole the whole look really is so interesting and mesmerizing. But mm -hmm. then you get to the hair and you're like, whoa, there is the pot of gold right there. The shoulders, the corset, the shape. Mm -hmm. Two. I, I, I give this a two two, and I will say this: this is Aja's most fabulous runway that I've seen. Oh, I think. Yeah, I'll take it. Snoss. Snoss. It's it's unusual. It's unusual. It's different. <laughs> <laughs> two. Two. This is my homage to Aja. <laughs> mm.
Raven, you're so beautiful. You look like Linda Evangelista. Did you stone those tights yourself? She could show up on the runway in a diaper and they'd be like, Raven, your smile. <laughs> Trend alert! Corsets. 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 Corsets de las. Corsets. Sets of the core. Oh set, my god. Set my core. Oh. You didn't realize that? Girl, <laughs> you were like breaking down words to me. It's like I'm learning new words. Mm. <laughs> Corset. Our top tune of the, of the week, week is... is... Aja! Work, bitch. Work, Aja. As Alexander McQueen of Hearts. Work, Miss Thing. Evilness suits you well. My yeah. homage to Aja. We love you, girl. What's that? Her. Tune in to VH1 every Friday night for RuPaul's Drag Race Season 9. And be sure to catch Untucked every Saturday on WOW Presents. Don't forget to subscribe to WOW Presents! I look like Linda Evangelista. You really do. I hear a button there. Butt hairs.